Hi, if you are new here, I'm Kanitsi, and if you're already watching this channel, welcome back. Today we are going to watch Anime Monster episode 38, so let's see what happens there, let's go! Alright, so there was a fire in the library. And while I was editing the previous episode, I also noticed how one of these men said that how precious this collection is, how important it is uh, to culture. So, honestly, I'm really sad about the books in particular. And uh, notice how Roberta said, oh, the plan has changed. I didn't expect this. Uh, my guess is it has changed after Johan saw that particular book and maybe he also thinks that this book is going down also with all the others while in fact oh, he, he did ask for the remember he did ask for the original of the book to be uh, transported here But yeah, I'm just thinking that maybe uh, that book kind of gave him an idea in any case. And the the copy that was in the library is actually in Lotus' hands right now, so it didn't burn here. Yeah, and that's exact. Like, so Roberta didn't know that it is was going to happen, but of course he's happy. And as he said, like his task, his position uh, is as a kill, as a hidden killer. Um, can't, how is it called? L hired killer, I think, might be the right one. But looks like he's also pretty loyal to Jochen, maybe. But he was also, obviously, he was supposed to shoot Schubert. But maybe now uh, he doesn't know if he has to do it or not. Because maybe if the plan has changed, uh, he's going to do something wrong if he shoots Schubert. And Jochen would actually prefer it if Schubert burnt down along with the books. Uh, so that's why he didn't make the shot after all, because I think he did have enough time and uh, Tenma didn't have the opportunity to stop him, uh, you know, when he finally reached for the gun. Uh, <laughs> in these seconds, Schubert could already be dead. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. I wanted to add something else about uh, Roberto. So now... Of course, he's pretty certain that maybe himself and Johan will be able to get away from here again. Like Johan saying that, say, telling everyone that he is going to be killed by some uh, Japanese guy. He's going to be shot. Probably in the beginning was the idea to set Tenma as the person who's going to shoot someone and then take Robert and make him shoot Schubert and everyone will think on Tenma. Uh, but now the situation is different. And maybe Johan would like to take this opportunity to start a new life, like pretend he was died in fire. To erase his identity again. We are going back to flashbacks. Oh, that, that was a sweet episode. Like, bittersweet, I guess. Okay, so just in case. Again, as I said, write this in this situation. It would also be self-defense for him. Like, okay, for now, he's kind of the, the first one pointing a gun. But Roberto already showed... Already beat him up. And now Roberta is also going to take aim. So at this point it will... 
It will be a question of life or death. Yeah, as he says, taking life is my job, basically. So his job is to kill anyone that Johan orders him to kill, whether for money or for loyalty. Okay, he shot him in the shoulder. I don't think that's lethal, uh, but he's so shocked. Okay. Where did it go the second time? I swear I'm not excited about 10 McKillen people, but... That's interesting. That's actually interesting. The monster in my sight. I'm not sure, like, Roberta might survive this. I didn't quite... It looked like the second one went into the chest. And I don't think Johan would be considerate enough to try and save his ally. His hands are not trembling anymore. Looks like this gave him more confidence in his, like, ability to shoot someone. When he was faced with actually protecting himself, he found strength to pull the trigger. Oh, shit. He probably can't see much because of the smoke and he's also in a rush. Is this? Wait, why are people trying to escape upwards? Is the exit on the second floor? Why the doors are closed? What the heck? That's strange. Okay, so that's probably part of the plan. So they locked the doors also. Okay, this changes everything. Well, they look wooden. Aren't they going to burn through? I think that's the only like, course of action they can take right now to uh, take down, break down the doors. There are a lot of people. They can like push the doors with all their force and break them, I think, if they're not metal. They don't look metal. So that was the plan at first. I think Schubert was at peace, maybe, with Johan taking his place, becoming a new vampire. But this is different. I bet his hands are very cold. <laughs> he has a scary expression. Um, his own face? What else can be reflected? Like in a book? Yeah, she already remembered something like that. Um, 
after her foster parents were murdered, she did recount something like that. Like nameless monsters. And he, he calls her on his other half. That's how he sees her. Is that ah? Uh -huh. I can't even tell the, the female's voice from a child's voice. Uh, he calls her on a chan. That's cute. So she came here, right? Like at when the fire is already burning. Oh, that's. It's already half of the episode. Yeah, and Dry Wine arrived at the same time. So, when he sent Carl back, he thought just that he was going to be shot and he wanted to save him from the site, probably. He didn't know about the fire, he only realized it later on. Maybe there's going to be something important in this document to tell Carl. Is this his mom? I, f I thought she had darker hair. Let's see what he says. Yeah, that's her. Like the real one. Yes. He was her client, but yeah, but looks like their relationship was more than that. Hmm. Yeah, I remember this part. I guess I somehow remembered her hair darker because Carl has that very dark hair. And she said, like, don't be mad at your father. And then she was murdered. But was it like part of the general plan to isolate Schubert? Or did she also like know something important or maybe they were all lonely. Bank of Darkness. Yeah, I 
Okay. Maybe that's why she actually made some dangerous connections. Doesn't look too bad from the outside. Eighteen year wait, what what year is it now? <laughs> So she was also somehow... Okay, the question remains the same. Was there another reason aside from the fact that she was connected to Schubert? Meine Liebe? What? Oh... Was this a letter to Schubert though? Hmm. Mm -hmm. One of her twins. Um, like, okay. We don't need more confirmation. Damn, everything is so inter intertwined. So these two women tried to cross the border, she managed and she had Carl, but with her friend something terrible happened. She says that she lives a nice life, but I'm not sure after what happens to her children. Well. So she has some, like, more connection to Johan himself. Like, not blood related, but she was a friend of his mom. And I guess something terrible happened after their mom was taken away. If their, like, earliest memory is of some terrible place. Okay, now also everyone can see him with a gun. <laughs> Not going. <sighs> He's shooting down the door. Okay, now it will be easier to break it, I guess. They're just standing around. They could at least help. Hmm? Nice. I mean... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's much better. He thought about saving people first of all. I wonder what this man thought. Maybe that... After seeing Tenma's actions, he probably thinks Tenma wants to save someone else there or something else. Okay, now we have two assassins going for Johan here.
but let's see how this goes maybe he left already like why would he no he's still here looks like it's pretty safe on the stage for now <laughs> he looks so peaceful does he even want of course he wouldn't die so of course he thought about his survival i'm pretty sure of that that's a pretty cool scene for a showdown but Johan is not pointing a gun at him like Roberta did, so might be harder for him to shoot. Hmm. What does he want to tell? Like, you saved my life, why would you take it away now? And that's just a guess. What's happening to Schubert? Is this because of the smoke? Okay, they are talking each other out of this. They will, they will never achieve anything like this. They want each other to remain kind of innocent at heart in this way. And looks like Jochen is pretty confident that they both aren't going to shoot. It looked for a second like he had a tear in his eye. Might be because of the smoke, though. She's trying to shoot, but I think she's just missing. <laughs> also... Can it be dangerous to shoot when there's a lot of fire? Like, not pretty good combination, eh? <gasps> okay, that was a very sudden end of the episode, like, so abrupt, like, and that's it. Okay, I'm going to watch the ending just in case something changes. But we basically, like, saw the whole story already in that uh, book. Oh, that, that was very... I really like fairy tales and these children's books and that was so delightful uh, having this little story i mean um it was a bit scary and um, dark but mainly like all children's folk tales are dark and scary so uh, that's one of the nice things about them actually this is, makes for a very Enchanting combination, to be honest. Okay, this this is almost the end. I think I said everything I wanted throughout the episode. I think I was talking a lot. Um, I'm just going to kind of say a few words about... So, Roberta, our hired killer, probably. Did he survive? I'm not sure, like, about the second shot, and he fell down from pretty high distance, pretty big height. Uh, so, it's unclear, to be honest, like, if we are going to see him or not. It would be nice if we had a confirmation, like, if we saw his body and kind of him not emerging from this library. And if this doesn't happen, I will kind of have the idea in my mind that he might appear again, and that he actually survived. Um, and then uh, we have also our Schubert. I have him for some reason in another uh, notepad. Yes, Hans-Georg Schubert. So, for now, he has... He has a chance at survival, I think, um, maybe Tenma and Nina, I, I'm pretty sure they are going to survive for now at least, are going to help him out if he doesn't have like a heart attack or something, also the smoke uh, can really hurt you a lot, not only the fire because you're inhaling it. And Jochen is escaping the scene, looks like he has um, ran away successfully, even though Nina 
Nina was actually more decisive and she tried shooting him. Um, all her shots and the miss that she missed all of them she didn't have as much training as denma but also consider that there's a lot of smoke again so it's hard to aim probably and also maybe it's psychological too she doesn't actually like she isn't actually ready to murder him uh, so okay that's it for now i think and carl um even if Schubert does not survive, there is some information that he left for Carl in this document. Probably uh, he deduced that Carl is going to look at it, most likely. And um, if they do reunite again, maybe they can talk about it. And th then we will uncover more information because it looks like uh, there are more people uh, somehow intertwined with Johan in different ways. And the becoming even more of them and we have a lot of information now we now know that Carl's mom knew Johan and Anna Nina's mom uh, so again it just makes the world uh, feel so like there is a saying that the world is actually tiny and in this case I think that's really nice that we have uh, these characters actually connected to each other in different number of ways. Okay, I think that would be it for today. So please share your thoughts in the comments without spoilers, of course. Thank you for watching and see ya! Mm -hmm.